the Accelerated Keto Detox Cleanse. This is a great cleanse for those of you who want to shift, but you're not quite ready to do the liver flush. So why is it so hard to lose weight and reverse that chronic disease? It isn't so simple. Nowadays, we are faced with multiple issues that are causing that unexplained weight gain and unexplained health issues. Insulin resistance is the root cause. It is a medical condition where the cells literally become less responsive to the effect of insulin. And insulin is that hormone produced by the pancreas that plays a crucial role in regulating your blood sugar. And it, it helps facilitate the uptake of glucose in the cells for energy. So when the body becomes insulin resistant, the cells, particularly muscle, that's why muscles are so important, the liver and the fat cells don't respond. It's like the mom screaming at the kids and the kids aren't listening. And then dad walks in and starts to whisper and the kids listen, right? As a result, they don't take up the glucose from the bloodstream as efficiently as they should. And so to compensate, the pancreas produces more and more insulin in attempt to lower that blood sugar. And this increases the production of insulin. But then at some point, the pancreas says, I give up. And that's when you take the insulin resistance and go into diabetes. But insulin resistance manifests into different diseases in different parts of the body. In the liver, it becomes type 2 diabetes. Insulin resistance at the heart becomes heart disease. At the ovaries becomes PCOS. How many of you women have been told that you have PCOS? I did, and I didn't know it was caused by insulin resistance. Insulin resistance at the brain becomes Alzheimer's. Insulin is the fat storing hormone because one of its key roles is to regulate how the body stores and uses energy. It's a survival mechanism, including glucose and, and fat. So when insulin is released in response to elevated blood sugar, it helps facilitate the uptake of glucose in the bloodstream into the cells where it can then be used for energy or stored for later use. But what happens is there are some implications for fat storage, glucose uptake and storage. When you consume those carbohydrates, they're broken down into glucose, enter the bloodstream, and insulin enables the cells, particularly muscles and liver cells, to take up the glucose for energy. And if the cell's energy uh, needs are met, then the glucose storage is sufficient. Then what do they do? It stores it as fat. Not what you want, but that's what the body does. It also inhibits the fat breakdown. So just the presence of insulin in the bloodstream tells your body to store fat and stop burning it. It also promotes fat storage because this is part of your, your survival me mechanism. These triglycerides are stored in fat cells, contributing to overall fat storage. And then it also causes a, an issue with the lipolysis, which is the breakdown of fat stores into fatty acids and insulin can suppress that lipolysis. So what are the hidden causes of insulin resistance and why are you having all of these symptoms and you've never had them before? Things are different today, you guys. The story is different. With the introduction of processed foods, higher levels of toxicity and radiation and the exposure to the spike protein, insulin resistance has worsened and affected so many people that were just doing great before all of this happened. Before 1980, processed foods didn't really account for much. Now, fatty liver and type 2 diabetes, which didn't exist back then in children, now actually are 25% of children have non-alcoholic fatty liver and 45% of adults have fatty liver. 67% of children's diet and 62% of an adult's diet consists of processed foods. Processed foods are not foods. They have exponentially increased the insulin resistance in a few different ways. That fructose in there literally shoots up the blood sugar. It's like putting cocaine in your vein. It literally is because you've stay, taken out the fiber, which is nature's way of slow, slowing the rise of blood sugar. And the fructose is metabolized differently than glu glucose. It's metabolized directly in the liver and directly converted into liver fat instead of being used efficiently for energy. It also steals 
energy steals ATP, which is the true cellular energy in the mitochondria. So it's not giving you energy, it's taking away energy. Then you add in the seed oils, which are pro-inflammatory, and that can actually worsen insulin resistance. Artificial sweeteners, they might not have calories, but they do induce sugar cravings because the body tastes something sweet and expects expect the calories to come later on. Those sweeteners also destroy the gut and and the back and back up the liver detoxification pathways. These foods are also hyper palatable. So you're combining sugar, salt, fat together. Never is that happening in nature. And then your your mouth is like, oh my god, I just had fireworks. And then nothing tastes good when you're eating just real food. And so it completely destroys your taste buds. Then you have the no amino acids, which your body is looking for amino acids and healthy omega-3 fatty acids to trigger the appetite suppressing hormone CCK that leads to overheat eating. So then your brain get never gets the signal that says, I've had enough. I don't need to eat anymore. Then in these processed foods, they have the emulsifiers. Those are there to extend shelf life and bring together water and fat, but that also kills the, the releasing of the CCK so you never get that appetite suppressing hormone. So even if you eat processed foods in the morning but have the, your healthy wild animal protein and salad at night, by nighttime, your gut has totally destroyed the mucosal lining so that CCK is never released when you're eating the healthy food. You add in the gluten and the other grains, which literally steal nutrients out of your body. And most of them are full of glyphosate and GMOs. And then these foods also totally are addictive and play with your dopamine. And dopamine is your motivation hormone that gives you a drive to do things in life. Well, the processed foods disrupt that leading to increased sugar cravings and the propensity for sugar addiction. So you're not just getting um, the taste of sweet causing a large release of dopamine, but you can actually cause, there's a cause of more cravings in the foods than, than when you receive that food. So you literally are hungrier after you started eating those processed foods versus before. That doesn't make sense. Okay, so after the, the processed foods, now we have the radiation and the amount of radiation surrounding our everyday lives has increased exponentially. 5G towers, smart meters, smart devices, and now they've started releasing the radioactive water from Fukushima. That was in August 2023, you guys. This is new. And this is what they're telling us. There's so much more going on that we're not even being told. So radiation is known to disrupt thy thyroid function, hormones, nervous system, and the DNA. And then you've got the increase in toxic exposures, um, processed foods, GMOs, and all of that. But then you have the fluoride, bromide, chlorine in the water and the food supply, dioxins in the conventionally raised beef and poultry, the xenoestrogens in cleaning supplies, and from herbicides and pesticides, insecticides in the environment. In every area of our lives, we are being bombarded. Then you add in the spike protein. It is not only responsible for the virus, but what else it's doing, it is causing an increase in triglycerides, cholesterol, lung issues, water retention, unexplained weight gain, insulin resistance, and mood issues. And then you have the fact that the spike protein and processed foods separately deplete copper out of the body. Okay, and most people are doing both or affected by both. Copper is needed to control uric acid levels, which are closely tied to insulin resistance. So when you don't have copper and those uric acid levels go up, you have a higher propensity to create insulin resistance in the body. And then you have the estrogen dominance, which occurs with, from the influx of the toxic xenoestrogens in our environment. And you'll get man boobs, weight gain, leptin resistance, hypothyroidism, decreased libido, menstrual irregularities, bloat, water retention, constipation, slowed metabolism. So what do we do about it? 
the Accelerated Keto Detox Cleanse. The benefits of this cleanse, you're releasing the toxins, the detox pathways are opening and a minimal amount of toxins are coming in. The cleanse removes the toxins gently while soaking them up without burdening the liver and the kidneys. This alleviates any chance for detox flu symptoms. The accelerated iodine, the accelerated silver, and kick out those toxins and create an environment that prevents toxins from taking hold of the body. And then you're reducing your insulin resistance with the accelerated keto. This is the magic bullet, you guys. Um, the accelerated keto, accelerated iodine, and an ancient salt, salt independently reduce insulin resistance. And together, they have an impressive synergistic impact on insulin and blood sugar. It's the key to most metabolic diseases. It will reduce your cravings for sugar and carbs, suppress that your appetite and help with your ability to intermittent faster, fast, and you're going to have better digestion. So with all of these supplements, your digestion's improving, leaky gut may subside, symptoms like constipation, bloat and gas, and nausea are reduced. And yes, you will start losing weight fat and weight loss. So most diets result in minimal or temporary weight loss and you're losing muscle. This is able to help maintain that muscle mass um, with the combination of the accelerated iodine, the accelerated keto, and the accelerated thyroid. So these, these are giving you an increase in ATP, increase in metabolism, increase in fat burning, all without stressing the body or shifting it into um, that survival mode. And you're going to get a stronger immune system. The accelerated iodine and the silver, which your children should be on as well, are known to independently devitalize those foreign pathogens, including bacteria, viruses, parasites, and more. And when you add in the low-carb diet and the additional supplements, the immune system strengthens even more. So in the cleanse, you have the iodine, and iodine is not only known to be antiviral, antibacterial, and antifungal, anti-inflammatory, but it's also antihistamine, antihistamine and detoxifying your body and hydrating your cells. It actually hydrates your cells without drinking water. It provides the needed iodine for your T4 and T3. So without that iodine, your thyroid is not going to work. But then it's helping with all the needed iodine for all 100 trillion cells in the body. And it's the only iodine that is not coming from the Asia, as you guys, most iodine supplements are coming from the radioactive waters. This is coming from South America, and it is radiation-free, toxic-free, but it's also enhanced with scalar frequencies to detox the cells. So just the accelerodyne is detoxing the cells and helping take off the burden off of your liver, and it's kicking out toxins like fluoride, bromide, chlorine, and the radiation from the cells. My mom, who's 80 years old, never really takes supplements, doesn't need to lose any weight, doesn't watch her diet she started taking the iodine. She goes, it's really weird. My brain fog's gone. But she really didn't know she had brain fog because she had had it for so many, so many years. So in other words, this is detoxing the body at the cellular level while feeding it the required minerals for cellular energy. And then you've got the accelerated um, silver. And this is embedded with frequencies to clear emotional and physical shock from the body, improve the health of the thymus, improve lung function, devitalize viruses and bacteria. And unlike any other colloidal silver, it's also enhanced with um, water implosion technology to clean the water and make it much more um, impactful with more life force, as they say in Chinese or Ayurvedic medicine. It helps with the immune system and circulation and it's alkaline. The accelerated keto, like I mentioned, is the game changer when it comes to flipping your body into fat burning and suppressing your cravings, making it super easy to intermittent fast within 30 minutes your body's gonna start burning your fat stores, increase ATP, and teach your body 
to look for fat stores instead of outside food for energy. So as the body's in that state of ketosis, it enters autophagy where the cells, cells start recycling the bad parts, regenerating new and healthier cells. But then it has multiple cofactor ingredients that no other supplement has to help start, start breaking down the liver fat cleansing the liver gently, even though you're not doing the liver flush, it improves detoxification, increases metabolism, improving digestion, improving mood. And the accelerated keto is programmed with scalar frequencies to clear emotional and physical shock from the body, cleanse the liver, convert saturated body fat into unsaturated fat, which is easier to burn, and increase your metabolic rate. The accelerated thyroid is helping a lot of people get off of their medication with the guidance of their doctors, these two together. And why? Because it supports metabolism and thyroid function, increases mental and physical energy, metabolism, fat burning, body fat loss, wound healing. It helps with water retention, hormonal balance, reducing that fatty liver. It is essentially... Um, a, a, a supplement that's bioengineerically enhanced with the scalar frequencies to improve the general health of the thyroid, help with hypothyroidism, neutralize the toxins that cause fat gain and a slow metabolism, and uh, and that it helps with the the get detoxing the fluoride, bromide, chlorine, mercury, and other metals from the, the thyroid, and neutralizes radiation and nuclear fallout that may be contributing to your sub suboptimal thyroid function. Then you've got the accelerated cellular detox powder, my gut superhero. This is a supplement with six organic and ingredients that that gets rid of bloat and irregularity while cleansing your system, soaking up the toxins that you are kicking out and taking them out of the body gently. It is embedded with the scalar frequencies to help alleviate the emotional and physical shock from the body, cleanse the body from pesticides, insecticides, heavy metals, and radiation. Now, it's really important when your body's switching to a low-carb um, diet and your intermittent fasting to supplement with electrolytes, and that's where the quintessential comes in. The quintessential and your little sample of accelerated ancient salt. But the quintessential has 78 bioavailable ionic minerals that rejuvenate your cells and get that intracellular hydration. The salt, the accelerated ancient salt, is a negatively charged salt that helps with appetite suppressant, just put it on your tongue, helps pull out the positively charged toxins, parasites, and undigested fats, and it's enhanced with scalar frequency. So there is the accelerated keto detox cleanse. You can always add in the liver flush, which I absolutely recommend a few times a year. I've been doing them actually every six weeks because we just need it. Our bodies are under major threat. If you have any questions, leave them in the group chat on Telegram. Make sure you're joining the group education. I teach you on a daily basis, the basis with articles and videos, and this will help you take control of your health. Thanks again.